Okay, one tab open, which is Google. We're going to do the Octane test. Okay, Google. Chrome OS benchmark. All right, let's get this Octane up and oh gosh, this one I came up with something different. Give me one second, guys. We're going to do this right. This is not the site I want. All right, real quick. Um, got the Octane up on both. So let's run that Octane test with no other tabs open. Start Octane. Let's start that Octane. And let's see. So, as if my other video you've seen, I run Octane with 22 tabs open. 22 tabs open. And the better score came with the HP. So, unbelievable how that came out. And you got to see it to believe it. So, all those tabs open, videos running, and everything like that and they both did the job they both held up two gigabytes versus four and the two gigabyte version 22 tabs open still ran so now this is nothing open just them two running octane against each other let's see what the score is really and truly just pick your chromebook doesn't matter which one you pick um chrome os can run on virtually on anything I am so curious about how those Haswell processors are going to run. Okay, 7066 on the HP Pavilion and 6823 on the Samsung Exynos 5 Octa. So, take your pick. It's doing the job. This is the highest score I got on the HP. But it all depends on your network speed as well. That's a pretty good score on both of them. They're not running far apart. I actually think things run better on the Samsung. It kicks in a little faster on the Samsung. That's just my opinion. So, pick your device. Like, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. And the main thing about the Samsung that is makes it far better versus this HP Pavilion For instance, is the battery life. The HP will always tell you it's going down. So, see you guys next video.